What's up guys? Today we're going to be talking about how to hypnotize yourself. That's right, how to put yourself in that perfect state of mind where permanent change can be made. Guys, if you haven't already, go follow me on Instagram. Link is down in the description. I put out tons of content every day. Go now. Now before we get into that, we have to understand how the brain actually works. We have our conscious mind and our unconscious mind. Our conscious mind is our logical mind. It's what we see with, what we hear with, what we taste with, etc. Our conscious mind is only 5% of our brain power. The other 95% is our unconscious. And in our unconscious mind, that's where all of our deep-seated personality uh, traits come from, our belief systems. That's where we basically, our whole perception of reality comes from the unconscious. When you're taking in information at the conscious level, it is getting into the unconscious, of course, but if you're trying to make change at the conscious level, it takes much, much longer. It's much, much harder because again, you're only using that 5% of your brain to make the change. So what we need to do is we need to learn how to shut our brains off so we can tap into the unconscious mind where all permanent change is made, okay? So now in order to do this, it's very, 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 very simple, okay? So what you're gonna do, you could do this later on. If you're driving, definitely don't do this right now, okay? But what you wanna do is you wanna just close your eyes, take a nice deep breath, hold it for about four seconds, and then breathe out and feel your body relax. Feel that shift in your consciousness and do that four times. Once you do that, you're gonna feel a shift. I can already feel it just after one. I feel like way more relaxed now. I gotta get my energy back up. <laughs> But you're going to feel the shift in your consciousness. Now, the reason why closing your eyes is important, you could do this with your eyes open as well, but the reason why it's important is because you're shutting off everything that you're seeing, right? Because when your eyes are open, you're taking in millions of bits of information all at, 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 once, at one time. And so when you do that, there's so many distractions that you can't calm your mind down to be able to tap into the unconscious. So by simply closing your eyes, you're going to eliminate all those distractions. And then the breathing is just going to allow you to relax so you can calm your conscious mind down to allow yourself to begin to put the suggestions that you want into the unconscious. Guys, one other quick tip you can use to intensify the trance, intensify the hypnosis, is when you take your deep breaths, open your eyes and close your eyes, 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 open your eyes and close your eyes four times and feel the deepening in the trance. <laughs> So again, it's very simple. Once you've done that, all you're gonna do, and this is very, very quick, three, four, five minutes a day, you're gonna repeat over and over again the thing that you want to change. Now, what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna suggest your brain what you don't want. For example, if you're an athlete and you wanna have better endurance, better cardio, or more strength, whatever it is for you, you don't have to be an athlete for this to work. What you don't wanna do is you don't wanna sit there and go, okay, I don't wanna get tired. I don't wanna get tired. I don't want to get tired. I don't want to get tired, okay? Because it's like the old saying, don't think of a pink elephant, and then what happens? Your brain automatically has to think of a pink elephant, and that's because your unconscious mind doesn't process don't, can't, won't. All it processes is pictures. So when you tell yourself, don't get tired, don't get tired, don't get tired, you're literally processing pictures of either yourself or somebody else getting tired. So you're gonna reinforce what it is you don't want, therefore lowering your endurance, lowering your cardio, lowering your strength. So what you wanna do instead is you wanna reiterate what it is that you do want, okay? So if you're wanting to increase your strength or cardio, it's very simple. You sit there and you don't have to say this out loud. You just say it quietly to yourself. I have amazing cardio. I have amazing cardio. I have amazing cardio. I have amazing cardio. And repeat this over and over and over and over again. Now, one of two things is gonna happen. You're gonna repeat it so much you're gonna go so deep into a trance that all of a sudden you're gonna wake up and it's gonna either be the next day or maybe an hour later, okay? It's gonna put you right to sleep. Um, or you're gonna repeat it so much, you're kinda, gonna, you're kinda gonna go, okay, I understand. I'm over this, I'm gonna open my eyes, okay? And that's totally fine. Now, I promise you, if you just, if you just do this one time, let's say you have to go practice later on, you have some type of, you're gonna go run, you're gonna go to the gym, and five, 10, 20, 30 minutes before practice or whatever it is you're doing, you sit there and you do this repeated over and over and over and over again, I promise you, you will see immediate results. Now, if you do this today and you never do it again, well, 
the unconscious mind, your old habits, old beliefs are going to start to come back. So you have to repeat this over and over again until you really feel that you've got it. And even then, keep doing it. So if you're going to practice, do this. Again, it's five minutes, guys. Everybody has five minutes. If you're really dedicated to whatever it is you want, you will take the time. Guys, if you like this video, make sure you like it. Make sure you, you hear every YouTuber say it. Like, comment, subscribe. Do it now. And if you haven't already, go down in the description. Follow me on Instagram. I'm going to leave my assistant's email in there. You can message her if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one consultation in case you don't have Instagram. If you do, go on Instagram, send me a message. Send me what it is you want to do, why you want to do. And if it's something that I feel I can help you with, I will definitely reach out. Either way, I'm going to respond. All right, guys. So thank you for listening this far. I know if you listened this far, you liked it. So go like the video. All right. Go like the video.